This is your love reading for uh, December. And this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. So if this reading does not resonate for you, I would um, prompt you to go ahead and check your Moon and Rising sign, as well as your Venus and your Jupiter. If it still doesn't resonate, then the reading is probably not for you. So please don't try to make it fit, okay? It's just that it's probably meant for somebody else that needed to hear a message um, a little more this time, okay? All right, guys. Also, if you guys uh, need a personal reading, something more personalized, then <clears throat> my information is in the description box below. My email address is um, pinkarianjim.com, okay? Let's see. Let's see what's, where you guys are coming from, what was going on in the past. Let's see where you're coming from. Leo. What's going on with my Leos? Eight of Swords. Judgment in the world card. So where you were was thinking about, had several, several things on your mind, okay? And those things you felt very stabbed in the back by something or somebody, like you weren't expecting it is what I feel from this card. So something caught you off guard and it sent you into a whirlwind where you didn't really know how to cope or to move past what has bothered you. Like constantly thinking about, you know, different things that brought you down, made you feel bad, hurt you. <clears throat> and not seeing your way out of it. Now, you move forward and you finally decide to just put that crap to rest because you knew it wasn't serving you. Instinctually, you knew that it wasn't serving you, that you could possibly be dealing with um, an earth sign here, king of coins, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person, but I feel like this King of Coins is you and knowing that you're better than the situation at hand, you, you felt that, but something was so traumatic for you that it did have you bogged down in a tight spot before. And so, but it's like you being focused on those, thing, those things you knew was not getting you anywhere. It wasn't moving you forward. So you made a tough decision here with the judgment card to put that to rest. Okay. Also could be involved is a Scorpio energy here. Scorpio energy that... is thinking about can this relationship um, come out of the ashes? Can it be, you know, rebirth almost? Can it be built upon? Wanting to build upon it. There's somebody here, whoever the person is, either you or the person that you're dealing with, And I'm thinking it's a person that you're dealing with because a knight of swords is coming towards you. Okay. And they, they realized there was something very substantial that they left behind. There was something very solid in their relationship with you that they neglected to see. They realize that. Then, you know, once, once you decided to, you know, stop putting forth effort into just even giving your energy to thinking about this connection, 
thinking about what was lost, just giving your energy to it, you said no more. No more. So coming towards the end of the cycle, which was a karmic cycle for you, um, and it was something very, very trying, very trying on your spirit, very trying on your soul. Um, it wasn't hard. It wasn't easy for you, rather. It wasn't easy for you to let go all of these swords that have surrounded you for a long time. All of these thoughts that have gone through your head. It wasn't. It was hard for you to let go of this person that you thought you were going to spend your life with, you know. But you did. So now this cycle has ended, and you know you've let all that go, and you're just starting over, and you're happy. You're happy. You're happy. Somebody else is not. Again, we have death with the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Somebody else is not. You have the Scorpio energy that's really... Not happy about you letting go. Not happy about you just letting things be. There's something very... There's something very not good about this energy. Something very... I, I, something's not good about this energy. Um... I think this person I keep looking at it because there's something not good about this energy. <clears throat> it's almost like this person wants to come back to get back not not get back in the sense of getting back together and being and being the person that they they know that they're supposed to be it's almost like they'll teach you for trying to put an end to the connection between the two of you so it's almost like they're going to worm their way back in Be careful of that. Be careful of that. Look at that. Somebody that walked away, but they're coming back. They're coming back. Look at that. Walking right back into the Four of Wands, right back into relationship commitment. Page of Swords. Planning. They're planning. They're thinking about how they can come back. This is what has been on their mind. Very stubborn type of energy, non-moving, very fixed energy. Okay, let's see what's going on currently with you guys. two cards we have the king of wands with the nine of cups and the page of swords yeah coming forward here you are Leo king of wands Just doing everything in your power to, you know, 
gain the happiness that you that you seek you know um having control of your own destiny having control as as much as you can you know over your own life over your own well-being and you're very you're very passionate and you're very secure in who you are and i feel like you know this person They, they want you or you want them so very badly. But with the Page of Swords being here, I feel like they're looking at you and thinking just how happy you are without them. They're observing. We have air energy here. They're observing. Yeah, so you're making it happen with the Magician and Ten of Swords. It's like, you know, you're laying down the burden of whatever this person did to betray you. Like, that's done. Right now, you're just trying to focus on not thinking about that anymore. That's just the bottom line. Don't even want to do that anymore. We have Gemini energy here for sure. But it's like, you're over that. So over that. They know they they know they care about you deeply. But it's almost like it's almost like a burden to them just thinking about you being happy without them. So they want to come in and give you a little smidgen of what they think that you want with that page of cuts being there. Because they feel like you're really, really happy without them and how dare you. Yeah, something has really, really shook this person to the core. Um, again, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy here. With the clarifying the page of swords. Planning, snooping. Just realizing that... Things are not always as they seem. They may have taken you to be somebody that is just very, you know, lighthearted. I'm sure you are. But almost to the point where, you know, anything that they did, you would just say, uh, it's okay. And I feel like now that you're not giving them the attention that they want, that... You know, their ego, their ego is really coming down here and um, they're fighting it. They're fighting to hold on to the control that they felt like they had over you. They don't want to change. It's where they are right now. They want, they want to be able to come back without actually changing up the way that they maneuvered. Where is this going? Let's see. Oh. Things are clear for you. Things are clear for you. Look at you. Here you are. Things are definitely clear for you. And you have the strength to 
say no to this person because I feel like you're going to see right through the, whatever crap they're bringing to you. Okay? And again, I just feel like, you know, things are clear for you. But with them, with the Knight of Cups and the Moon card, they're realizing just how very emotional they are. But I feel like there's there's an air of instability with this person. I really feel Gemini strongly here. Gemini Scorpio energy. And they may have those elements in their chart, but I, I feel that strongly. There is an opportunity here. See, regardless of what it is that that you decide that you want to do, I see, I see things going in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. Because whether or not you're with somebody, you're still going to be happy. Because you're happy with yourself. You have self-love. You, you, you see things for what they really are. Things are clear for you. Things are clear for you. But this individual over here, this Knight of Cups, I feel like they, they want you to offer this love to them. They want this to be the Two of Cups. They want to start over with you. I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons, though, is the thing. They definitely want to take a leap of faith. They see you as somebody that is very loving, motherly, somebody that takes care of other people, somebody that they feel safe and secure with. They see that. They see that with you. This is also Aries energy. Up in here. Libra. Taurus. Yeah. They see you as like they see you as the one, but this person is very, very immature in the way that they present, like in a relationship. They may appear, they may appear on the outside as a king or a queen, but, and that's to people that really don't know them in an intimate setting. But I feel like on the inside, like in, in intimate relationships, they they present very immaturely. Like they have their shit together in every other area but love. Like they don't know how to interact in a love connection, like really. So it can be successful. They know what they feel. I just don't think that it's um it's not exhibited the way that you need for it to be. Look at you. I'm talking about showing up and showing out over here, Leo. Okay? Look at this. The strength card, you having the strength to endure whatever the hell comes your way. Then you have clarifying it, the six of wands being successful, being victorious, being recognized for your efforts, for your deeds. You know what I'm saying? Along with the Ace of Wands. 
starting over something new, something you're passionate about, something that you're willing to invest your time and energy into because you're no longer willing to invest in bull crap, okay? This is how you end up. This is how you end up. This is you. Standing your ground. Standing your ground. Do what it is that, that you feel like you need to do for yourself. Okay? All right, Leo. So that is what I have for you guys for the month of December. And I will be speaking with you soon.